Kale here from Stomby, USA. When I was going to college at the University of Santa Clara, I was able to go here Tower Power at, I think it was San Jose Civic Auditorium is my recollection. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, having grown up in the 70s and being a trumpet player, I was a huge fan of Tower Power and, you know, Michelet as well. And I remember um, myself and my roommate went and we managed to be standing right right at the stage. I was standing, we were standing right at the stage. So Mick Gillette's feet were like right here and he's up here like this. And it was just un un unbelievable how he, how he played and how he sounded and how he'd switch from, at one point he was playing marching, a marching trombone with his right hand. He had his trumpet in his left hand and he went from some extremely low note on the marching trombone brought the trumpet up and I swear he was playing a high G on the trumpet before the mouthpiece even hit his face. It was unbelievable. Well I wanted to meet him because I always wanted to meet trumpet players and I figured my in to him was I figured he knew my friend Johnny Madrid um, was a great trumpet player. And so at intermission on a business card I wrote my name and I said hey I'm friends with Johnny Madrid I'd love to love to meet you and I sent it backstage with somebody. And he came out at the break and uh, he was nice enough, he was a little bit standoff, but he was cool and he said hi and blah blah blah. We didn't really have anything to talk about. I just said I wanted to meet you and I got a, my picture taken with him. And uh, he went back and I think he made the assumption that because I was friends with Johnny I must be a great trumpet player, which certainly was not the case, that's for sure. But anyway, he saw me standing there, right there in front of him. The second half, he, he kicked in the afterburners. It was unbelievable the way he was playing. And of course, they uh, the the last tune before the encore was "What Is Hip," and he played the crap out of it. It was unbelievable. And then at those at in those days, the final, the encore, the big encore, the last one was always "You're Still a Young Man." And I remember thinking to myself, "Holy smokes, he's played all these two sets, unbelievable." Now he's got to play "You're Still a Young Man." And I saw him do the sneaky move where he turned around to get a glass of water from the top of the the amp that was behind him. And as he did that, he did the mouthpiece switch from one pocket to the other. He put in a little different mouthpiece, but he sounded unbelievable. And that's when I first got to meet Mick Gillette. I'll never forget it. Have a nice day.